Did you know about the hazardous effects of drugs for anxiety? You're at high risk for dementia and Alzheimer's with these drugs for anxiety. Welcome to another episode of Live Without Anxiety, the channel where you can find the best anxiety hacks. In this video, you will discover the shocking adverse effects of anxiolytic drugs. I will share with you the potential toxicities of the two most common medications used for anxiety. Make sure you watch this video till the end so you can decide whether you want to take these drugs or not. As you might already know, a major topic in the study of drugs, scientifically known as pharmacology, is the toxicity of drugs. Every drug that brings a therapeutic effect causes an adverse reaction too. The Food and Drug Administration FDA, reviews the actions of drugs to approve the drugs only with the maximum therapeutic benefits and minimum side effects. However, no matter how beneficial it is, pharmacological therapy always comes with side effects. Most of the time they are minor and can be ignored, but if the drugs are taken for a longer period, they become prominent. Similar is the case with the most commonly used drugs for anxiety. Anti-anxiety drugs include benzodiazepines, barbiturates and anticholinergic drugs. Pharmacologically, the anxiolytics are included in the category of sedatives and hypnotics. They cause dose dependency and as depressant effects leading to sedation, relief of anxiety, or hypnosis, consciousness drowsiness and sleep. The research provides solid evidence that there is an increased risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease with the long-term use of these drugs. If this information helped you, wait until I describe how these two groups of drugs put you at 84% risk for dementia and Alzheimer's. I will show you the statistics of two pieces of research carried out independently. You will be shocked to see the details. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about benzodiazepines. The target for benzodiazepines is the GABA receptor in the brain. GABA is a chief inhibitory neurotransmitter of the brain, which reduces the neurotoxinal excitability and transmission of nerve potentials. The binding of benzodiazepines with GABA receptors triggers the inhibition of action potential, which decreases anxiety and produces calming effects. In more than 37% of the older adults, benzodiazepines are the most commonly used drugs for anxiety and insomnia. They are supposed to be used for a few weeks, but people continue to take these for years. A research was conducted on 1800 men and women who had Alzheimer's disease. Their drug prescription history for 5 or 6 years before the diagnosis of the disease was studied. The results concluded that the long-term use of these drugs is associated with Alzheimer's. The data showed that people who took benzodiazepines for 3 consecutive months or less were at the same risk for Alzheimer's as any other person not taking these drugs. However, with the use between 3 to 6 months, there was a 32% greater risk and eventually an 84% high risk when used for more than 6 months. There are three classes of benzodiazepines, short-acting, intermediate-acting and long-acting. The therapeutic efficiency to relieve anxiety is highest for diazepam, which is a long-acting benzodiazepine. But unfortunately, patients using benzodiazepines with long-term actions are at greater risk of dementia and Alzheimer's than those using the short-acting benzodiazepines. The other class of drugs is anticholinergic or anti-muscarinic drugs. As the name shows, they block the muscarinic receptors to prevent the release of acetylcholine and thus prevent excitatory activity in the brain. These can be used for several disorders of gastrointestinal, genitourinary, respiratory and nervous systems. Their side effects include dry mouth, lower blood pressure, tachycardia, constipation and urinary retention. The studies prove that there is a correlation between cumulative use of strong anticholinergics and incident dementia. The researchers at the University of Washington researched 3,434 men and women over the age of 65 years. Their drug prescription details and pharmacy records were noted. After a follow-up of an average of 7.3 years, it was found that 797 or 23% of the people developed dementia. It was also noticed that the incident dementia was 54% higher in people taking these drugs for 3 or more years as compared to those taking the same dose 
for three months or less. Both these studies confirm the scientific hypothesis that long-term use of anxiolytics causes dementia and Alzheimer's. All right, that was all about how drugs for anxiety are shown to be associated with higher risks of dementia and Alzheimer's. I hope you have understood by now why I don't talk about the pharmacological therapy for anxiety on my channel and always focus on holistic and natural ways to relieve anxiety. That's because of their potential toxicities. Do you know the simplest ways to alleviate your anxiety? How do you manage to deal with your anxiety attacks? Have you ever used drugs for anxiety? Did it cause any severe adverse reaction? Let me know your answers in the comments down below. I personally read all your comments and I look forward to what you have to say. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and notifications bell to receive the best anxiety hacks every week. Also, I would love you to be part of our Live Without Anxiety Facebook family. Click on the link in the description below to join our community. Since you like this video, I'm sure you would love to know about 5 best natural and organic ways to ease anxiety. The video is right in front of you. Click on it to make sure you check it out and remember, you can live without anxiety.